A very good morning and welcome to 4th of March squad blessing. Now, what is an imperishable jewel? A jewel that is always shining, always has its nature, always has its shine, constant. And that's what God wants us to be. You see, God wants us to make a world which is better living world for us. Not the present world, but a world which is going to be more purer, more powerful. More of happiness, more of soul consciousness, there won't be any divisions, there won't be any form of impurity, there won't be any fights and wars and violence and a world where there's going to be only pure, intellectual, divine, powerful, lighter ways of methods of communicating with each other. Not the corrupt ones, not the complicated ones like the way we have it now. So God comes to change this world which has become impure, complicated, disturbing, violent into a world which is going to be pure and powerful and peaceful and it's going to be one world religion and that religion is going to be peace, purity, love, happiness, joy, bliss and divinity. So God here says, may you be immortal by being constantly loving and cooperative and have the title of an imperishable jewel. So how do we become imperishable? When we are cooperative with God in changing this world from impure to pure by changing ourselves first. That's the point. That's the formula. So those who are constantly loving and cooperative in the task of establishment. What are we establishing? We are establishing a new world, a new world order. As you listen, the new world order is not a financial order not which country is going to be more powerful but this new world order is going to be a divine world is going to be a pure world is going to be a viceless world where you don't see any soul any human being having lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy hatred and many more negativities in them they'll be completely 100 percent pure just like the creator so it's being established right now in the task of establishment, receive the title of an imperishable jewel. They are such imperishable jewels that no one can ever shake them. Nor can any obstruction stop them. That means no one can ever shake them. Means that no soul can come and tell them what you are doing is not right or you should not do this. Enjoy a little bit. Have fun. Stop doing it. Why do you take yourself so seriously? Why do you make your life so bore? And that's what spiritual people get to hear because the worldly ways of living are colorful and happy, right? But they're ever changing and they're ever spoiling. So God here says, only such imperishable jewels have the blessing of being immortal. Those who don't get obstructed, those who don't feel any form of negativity or don't, those who don't get pulled into anything impure. They are real gold and the father's companions. God's companions. They consider the father's stars to be their own. That's how they feel about it because they constantly stay with him. Staying with him means in meditation with him. They become imperishable. That means their happiness, their joy, their love, their bliss, their power feels imperishable. Nothing can disturb them at all. And that's what you can also do. Have that imperishable love, imperishable happiness, imperishable joy. To know more about this, do visit Brahma Kumaris and learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti Udhis.